and welcome back to Storytime at Nana's House. So good to have you here once again. Look, I'm excited to share right now. It's Animal Kids and it's Cubs, Chicks, and Pups. And this book right here is published by my friends over at Ben and who have given me permission to share with you now. Here we go. Little animal kids come in all sorts of sizes and colors. There's a lynx cub, a mux ox calf, and a rhinoceros cap too. Some are soft and fluffy, like the lynx and the muskox. Some are not, like the rhinoceros. Animal babies have a mother and a father. Many babies stay with the mother until they are older. Mothers feed their children and hold them too. Oh, look, there's a lemur baby up there. Aw, so cute. And an orangutan baby. Oh my goodness. Look how sweet. Oh, Nana loves baby, baby humans and baby animals. Some animal kids are called cubs, like these brown bear cubs right there. Black bears, brown bears, and polar bears all have cubs. Mothers teach them how to find food, but what they really want to do is play. Lion cubs stay with the mother for one or two years. A lick or a kiss says, I love you. Tiger cubs are born with stripes and very big paws. Whoa, it's amazing, isn't it? Some animal cubs are called pups. Seal pups and wolf pups make squeak sounds when they need help. Some pups live in tunnels under the ground. They come up top to play. When danger is near, they run back home. Some animal kids are called kits. A raccoon kit has little hands that help it go up the trees. A fox kit has strong legs that help it run and leap. Some animal kids are called joeys. A joey is very tiny when it is born. As it grows, it stays inside a pouch on the mother's tummy. Some animal kids are called lambs. This little lamb will one day grow big, big horns. Do you know what baby goats are called? What did you say? Did you say kids? Yes, they're called kids. Kids can walk on high mountain rocks. Wow. Impressive. Some animal kids are called chicks. Chicks hatch from eggs. Hello down there, little chick. It's way, way down at the bottom of the page there. Many chicks grow up in a nest. The mother or father bird brings food to the chicks. Some chicks learn to swim. They also like to take rides. Some animal kids are called foals. A foal has long legs. It can get up and walk the day it is born. Some animal kids are called fawns. Fawns have white spots. Little fawns stay hidden in leaves or grass while the mother looks for food. Some animal kids are called calves. A calf stays with its mother until it's all grown. Calves can live in the cold waters of the sea. Calves can live in the hot, hot lands of the desert. Some animal babies hatch from eggs. A crocodile hatchling calls out <laughs> to tell its mother it is hatching. Hey mom, oof, oof, oof. ready or not, here I come. Oof. And when she hears her babies, she comes to dig the eggs out of the sand. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Mother, I'm a mummy. Are you ready? Some penguin fathers sit with the eggs. When a little chick hatches, it stays close to its father to keep warm. Oh. <laughs> Nana can't get over the crocodile calling out. Mm. Hey, 
Are you ready yet? Here I come. Good or not? Wouldn't it be nice to kind of be prepared like that, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? I'm sorry, Nana can be very silly. Animal kids are busy. They have bath time and lots of come out and play time and nap and rest time too. Some animal kids ride around on the mother's back. Hold on tight. Some animal kids ride around on the mother's belly. Cuddle up, sweetie. When it's time to go to sleep, some animal kids get hugs and snuggles. All tucked in. Good night, kids. And that's the end. Da, da, da. Wow, what a book that was. My goodness, learning so much about animals. Do you like to learn about animals? Nana does too. I think it could be quite fascinating, especially when you learn a sound that a baby crocodile makes coming out of mommy's belly. Oh my goodness, it is time for me to go, my friends, but before I do, I just want to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind, because in a world where we could be absolutely anything we want to be, please, 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 just be kind. It's one small way to make your light shine a whole lot brighter. Thanks again for stopping by. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And always, always, always remember that this Nana right here loves you. Take care.